this period. So uh, I will just uh, make a little introduction to Tinker HP. Uh, my name is Victor Jolie, as you can see, uh, and as you as you can hear, I am French. Uh, so uh, I'm working for the National uh, Center for uh, Scientific Research in France, and also at the Sorbonne University. Uh, you can see the logo that says that uh, we are creating the future since uh, 1257. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm glad uh, to create uh, also the future uh, uh, this year. Okay, so uh, we just uh, know um, it will not be a scientific presentation because uh, I'm not the right man to do this this kind of presentation at Tinker HP. And Louis uh, Lagardère, which is uh, here, uh, who is here, uh, can do that uh, better than me. Anyway, I will just talk about uh, the program and give you some some results and uh, some way to accelerate uh, uh, the code. So, um, uh, just a special uh, situation now, you, you know uh, the situation. So, uh, in fact, uh, in Europe, and uh, we, we develop, uh, uh, we have a general mobilization uh, to uh, supercomputing to help the research against uh, the virus. So, uh, in France, it's the GENC, which is the National Center uh, for um, Supercomputers, uh, and some uh, European uh, research uh, project uh, uh, support us in this uh, mission. In the USA, you have the HPC Consortium, so you can see that uh, everyone is working on this kind of uh, of uh, research uh, with supercomputers. Um, so what do we do uh, with TKHP? Uh, we do a domestic polarizable molecular dynamics and virtual screening. Uh, find some, some molecules uh, able to stop the replication of the virus or uh, able to cure uh, people. So uh, you can see that the support is uh, uh, European Research Council and many organizations in Europe and also in the United States. So uh, to do this kind of thing, uh, atomistic molecular dynamics, uh, we have to be very accurate uh, because uh, if you're not accurate, you can see uh, not everything that you must see. Uh, a two-body physics, uh, like uh, the classical force fields, uh, gives you the picture on the left of the Joconde, and uh, with many physics, many more physics, you can have something uh, which is like on the right picture. So it's, uh, of course, better because uh, you have a better accuracy, and, uh, and you can make uh, many things, many simulations. Uh, better with this kind of accuracy. Uh, we have, uh, well, Tinker has developed a general polarizable force field uh, grounded on quantum mechanics. So, uh, in fact, the, the deal was to, to see and to be able to, to see uh, small energetical differences uh, because uh, many of the phenomena that uh, you have to be, uh, can be uh, can be seen with uh, very small energetical differences, so you have to see it. So you have to be more accurate, to be able to see. So we have many applications. We can see that uh, biological charged system, heavy elements, and many uh, kind of force fields have been developed by uh, by the thinker uh, uh, creators uh, to to be able to work on metals and uh, to, to have the, all these kind of applications that you can see on the screen. Uh, anyway, everything is, uh, is, uh, is connected to the fact that we have to have the polarizable uh, embedding inside. I mean, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, take into account the polarization, then you, you, you will never have the accuracy that you need. Uh, so, uh, 
alternative for molecular uh, mechanics. So you have to have distributed multipoles, uh, distributed polarizability, uh, and linked to uh, energy function, uh, and be able to separate solutions uh, uh, and to have a high accuracy quantum mechanical reference. So anyway, you have to have all these uh, features. And all these features uh, have a little big problem with computing. It's low. It's, I mean, it's very difficult, very long to calculate because we have to make many more calculations. And uh, the problem is that if you don't use, if you use uh, the general algorithm to get all these features, then uh, you cannot scale. And if you cannot scale, you will be very, very, very long. That's a result. An interesting result. So uh, this is just an example of of, uh, of the, um, the polarizable uh, effect, I would say, uh, on water. Uh, I mean, if you use a um, classical model, then you have some results uh, that you can see on the on the on the on the table, uh, and you can see that uh, all of these results are uh, far from the real ones that have been measured for the experimentally. You can see that the best one is Amoeba 14, in this case, which is a polarizable force field. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, for the dielectric constant, for example, that uh, the fit between the experiment and what Amoeba able to calculate is what good. So uh, it's very important uh, because from for, for this uh, this uh, for the water particularly, if you can have all the properties, uh, then you can make uh, simulations with uh, with uh, with a meaning. I mean, uh, a meaning simulations with uh, with something interesting. So that's the problem. We have to have very accurate. Uh, we have to have very accurate uh, in a very long time uh, because we need uh, long simulations to have uh, uh, meaningful results. And we have something that is very uh, hard to calculate. So uh, developed this your HP code. Uh, uh, in the first part, it was mainly Louis. Uh, so we develop a robust and accurate algorithm to scale, to have a, a good precision, and uh, we have tested them on various architecture. Uh, I mean, for, uh, yes. at this time it was better scale ready. Now it's maybe extra scale ready, but we'll see that uh, after. So. Uh, this was the main uh, reason that we developed Tinker HP. HP doesn't mean uh, Violet Packard, but it means uh, high performance. Uh, it's a private joke uh, with uh, Louis. Louis. So um, we have a general framework for uh, all type of polarizable forces methodology. So uh, you can see that uh, the first step was to separate all the different energy that you need uh, to calculate. And uh, you see that we have added distributed multipoles, not to quadrupoles. So uh, you have just that the equations that, uh, that we have to, to, to calculate. And it, I will not uh, say anything more than uh, just uh, show them to you, but Anyway, you have many, many things uh, you, that you can see, um, and uh, this, this, uh, this uh, quadruple uh, is very difficult to, to calculate very long. So, uh, but that this one that gives the accuracy necessary to have a, a good, uh, a good simulations, good trajectories uh, on the long time. Uh, what we have to do is to have robust uh, algorithm to have uh, to be able to calculate on very large systems and and, and to be able to 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 make very long simulations. So 
there is many mathematical things uh, that have been added in into HP. Uh, I should say that uh, I don't understand all the mathematics that is inside Tinker HP. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, there is uh, there are many many things that have been done. So uh, we are pretty sure that we have no rendering errors in molecular uh, dynamics. So uh, it's, it's a very important point because if you do very long simulations, then uh, these rendering errors uh, should be uh, constrained uh, to be very small, or the systems will explode. Uh, uh, anyway, for polarizable force speeds, you see that it's almost half of the cost of the polarization, so uh, half of the cost of the calculation, sorry, so uh, so it's very important. Uh, anyway, we have developed many things, uh, a minimum number of matrix vector products, uh, good linear scaling techniques, and massive parallelism. Massive parallelism is, uh, yes, not 10 cores. It could be uh, 1,000 cores or uh, 10,000 cores or uh, even 15,000 uh, 15, cores. So uh, this thing has been developed uh, to, to, to take care of this, of this mar massive parallelism and, uh, and to be scalable. Okay, so we have some, some equations and uh, something, but it's not very important in my, in my, uh, in my case. Okay. Uh, many body field of polarization solvers, so uh, we use uh, uh, pre constant uh, uh, TCG, sorry, uh, truncated uh, family of methods. So um, it is not interactive, fixed cost. Uh, we have no drift uh, since uh, all these are analytical gradients. So, uh, Everything is is, uh, is, uh, is set up to have uh, the maximum uh, capability of calculation, and uh, indeed, it it is very uh, very uh, very good way to accelerate calculation. So uh, we have to make some modifications to the full feed parametrization. Sorry, but uh, it's it was the effort to do that. So I'll give you some reference uh, uh, in, the, in the in the bottom of the page. Okay, so that the scientific uh, uh, acceleration, you have massive parallelism, so uh, uh, 3D domain decomposition. So uh, we have uh, we have many many many. Um, uh, many uh, I don't find the word so uh, we have a, a, a way to, um, to uh, decompose decompose the, the space uh, so that we make some uh, some, uh, some optimization of the calculations I will not uh, go further than uh, what is written on this uh, on this because uh, because I don't want to and because uh, Louis can do that better than me uh, anyway uh, what uh, the thing is important is that in this case we optimize optimize the process and uh, we can mask communications in this case we have some communications between the, the processors and uh, and we can mask them so uh, we can have, have a better uh, scalability with that um we have yes global timing is, uh, it was a result from uh, years ago now so uh, it has been very speed up uh, a, a very big speed up uh, between uh, this version and the original version of Tinker. it was the uh, open mp uh, and eight cores uh, so uh, this one is uh, still uh, very very well, so see that uh, yes, it was a, a very big uh, uh, step, and we go to uh, to to have some uh, some uh, some very big uh, point of start to have uh, to have uh, to have uh, good relations. Um, 
of the kind of thing that uh, that we were saying at the time. So you know that it's well, about million fully polarizable from uh, STMV, and uh, we have made some calculation on the ribosome, which is uh, more than 3.5 million atoms, all being fully polarizable and using uh, 10 million. 10,000 cores. Uh, the ribosome cannot be made on eight cores because it's too long and it's too memory. There is too too much memory to, uh, needed for this kind of calculation. So uh, that's the situation uh, in 2018. So uh, what we plan is to make some acceleration. So uh, we can accelerate some things. Two uh, axes. The first one is scientific, uh, modifying methods and trying to find some methods that are faster than than before. And the second one would be uh, uh, computing uh, uh, related. So, uh, so the first axis is uh, basically from Lewis, Louis, uh, which is the main uh, the main the main uh, developer of uh, who is sorry the main developer of of Picker HP and uh, um, computing acceleration is basically uh, from me. So uh, we have some uh, two integrators uh, which which allow us to to have a different time step uh, up to ten femtosecond. Uh, Basically, the simulations are run with one femto or two femtoseconds uh, of time step. Uh, so, uh, using this kind of, of integrators, uh, you can uh, go up to 10 femtoseconds of time step without losing the accuracy and without losing your, your dynamics. So, this, uh, this is the first uh, acceleration. So, yeah, this is just a uh, they will just show you uh, the, the acceleration of, of the method that we can have with TV. So we can have some different uh, cento, uh, some different time steps uh, if it's a long, short uh, uh, interaction. So uh, that's pretty good because we have we have an acceleration that is uh, very interesting. But the picture on the right is uh, coming from one of our friends, which is Felix Xavier, which likes to do this kind of uh, who likes, sorry, to do this kind of picture. So uh, we have um, further accelerations, which is very uh, using velocity jumps. Uh, basically, I don't understand exactly. Uh, we have uh, had some uh, some, uh, some papers that will describe this. Uh, anyway, you can have some. Uh, what I understand is that some forces are evaluated randomly, and uh, uh, instead of being time, so there is a far less calculations uh, and uh, the the speed is faster. I mean the calculation is faster. So uh, we have just uh, one one uh, one picture. We have, uh, we, have uh, we are sure that we are um, preserving uh, the diffusion the diffusion coefficients and uh, all the all the basic uh, things that we want to calculate. So uh, we are pretty sure that the but doesn't uh, destroy anything and give uh, good results and keep the accuracy. So it's it's uh, it's uh, very new because uh, it's been published uh, some some months ago. But this kind of of uh, work is uh, is very interesting because we can have uh, many much much less calculations, as I said. So um, this is uh, this is uh, some uh, resume of of what I said. We have many many uh, scientific methods uh, 
uh, which give better force fields uh, and which uh, which allow us to cycle on on uh, on on, uh, on more uh, more targets and uh, and to have the a better capability and to have a better speed. Uh, the other is uh, computational speed up, so it's my part. So I will be less. Uh, uh, I will I will just uh, give you some some indications. So uh, basically, we use the uh, new Intel chips uh, with uh, 512 uh, bit vector instructions. So they, they can hold eight uh, uh, double precision reel or 16 integers. So we can make uh, basically one operation on eight numbers. Eight read numbers or sixteen integers at the same time. So uh, the code, uh, as it was uh, originally written, has to be changed because uh, if you want to take advantage of the vectorization, then you have to calculate on arrays uh, and not on single values. So uh, uh, we have. Uh, I have uh, mainly rewritten the vectorization, the code to use the vectorization uh, as best as possible, uh, and we have an additional speed up uh, because we have some collaboration with uh, someone, uh, Alejandro Duran, which is uh, from Intel, and which is some kind of a god of, of god for the AVX uh, 512 uh, optimization. So. Uh, That is uh, first of all to reorganize the memory, uh, uh, footprint, uh, print of the of the code. So uh, I align all arrays and declare all arrays in the, in the, in the, the same uh, order than uh, they, are, they are used, and uh, using some modules and to have an, uh, efficient memory access. And no p loops. So I don't know if you know what is p loops. P loops is p loops loops, and that uh, when you have a loop uh, over uh, many uh, many numbers, so you work on arrays, and uh, the processor has to make some a uh, first loop uh, to be able to be sure that the data are aligned on the, on hardware boundaries. So that's p loops, and these one are very slow. So they are not vectorized at all. And uh, if you avoid them uh, with the right alignment, the right uh, declaration of array, uh, then you can uh, save some time. The loops itself have been uh, written, so uh, we use uh, uh, a wide uh, loop count that, uh, that are always a multiple of 16 or 8. So uh, it's better for vectorization purpose. Multiple of eight to to, um, to work on uh, on reels and multiple of sixteen when you work on integers. Uh, we have to make we make some loops with a very uh, low number of reference of arrays. Uh, so it's better for the for the processor because it doesn't have to have many. Any peaks in the memory at uh, different uh, positions. Um, what we do uh, else is also to um, uh, to uh, remove the air loops. The air loops are reminder loops, uh, so it's some sort of the other side of the loop. Uh, when you have a number of uh, uh, loop counts, which is not a multiple of 16 or, or 8, then the processor has to to, to execute uh, additional loops to take uh, care of the remind uh, of the remain uh, uh, numbers that you don't treat in the vectorized loops. So basically, eliminate these air loops is better. So we do uh, it's it's uh, a very big uh, rewritten of the code because. Uh, so the code was originally not made for that. Uh, so, uh, so uh, by now it's 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 the code is uh, somewhat simpler 
than before because it's basically uh, an addition of many loops on all the uh, constant, all the, the the array that we we have to calculate. Uh, and the other things which I don't mention that is that we avoid to use the intrinsics uh, of Fortran. Yes, uh, HP is written in Fortran, so uh, we don't use the intrinsics because uh, the intrinsics are something very conservative. Uh, and they make many uh, memory operations uh, to be able to preserve all the data, so uh, it's not quite efficient. Uh, in Tika HP, we have to have ma to make some uh, we have uh, some cutoff to select the atom that are under the cutoff uh, distance and uh, eliminate them uh, would be something that can be uh, done using pack uh, instruction in Fortran. But the pack instruction is not uh, as simple as uh, as uh, as it can uh, as it can be because the pack has to make many memory operations. To Preserve data, uh, but if you do many packs uh, sequentially, then uh, you can see that the optimization is only on one pack at each time. Uh, but if you do that uh, using loops with a simple uh, a simple loops, then uh, the processor, uh, the compiler, the compiler, sorry, is able to to see uh, this kind of of uh, of, uh, of construction and uh, use the vectorized uh, operation, uh, which is uh, at the machine level, and uh, there is a pack operation at the machine level. You cannot reach it using the pack function, but you can reach it with uh, a simple loop. I think this function is very, very fast and much more faster. So, um, well, I just uh, on the left. Uh, the most uh, the most computing uh, routines uh, of uh, of uh, Tinker HP. Uh, so you can see that uh, the reserve time of execution and uh, the zeros on the right is the level of vectorization, which is strictly zero for the first uh, version. And you can see on the right that there is a uh, uh, it's far far better because. Uh, Level of optimization of uh, vectorization, sorry, is uh, is in bold uh, phase here, so you can have something between 4 percent and 100 uh, percent. So basically, we use uh, the real AVX uh, 512 uh, uh, operations, and the right uh, column is just the speed up. In the two uh, between the new version vectorized and the old one, so you can see that overall we have something like, like uh, boost of a boost speed up of two for the DHFR at this time. Uh, uh, and uh, if you uh, use a better, uh, uh, sorry, a bigger system, and uh, if you use a, a big number, a bigger number of cores, then you can see that the boost increase. Because you you use in this case you use the uh, AVX uh, 512 vectors uh, much more than before, so the boost is better when you have a bigger system. So uh, so that's that's an important uh, um, uh, yes. We can see some uh, some kinds of uh, of results. So we have the uh, on the left uh, the boot factor from many different uh, systems, the HFR, which is uh, the 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 one uh, the reference uh, for this kind of calculations. Uh, we have the puddle, which is basically uh, water uh, uh, with the. Uh, Thousand atoms. Uh, we have the Fox2, uh, some town, some lake, the STMV, the RUS, uh, and the ribosome. So uh, for all of these uh, of these systems, you can see that the boost factor is uh, between 1.4 and 1.6, something like that. Uh, so uh, it's a very very good uh, thing. 
And the interesting thing, so, is that it's uh, the vectorization is scaling uh, well. You can see on the top left that uh, we have the scale for the, the red the release version, which is uh, not vectorized, and the vectorization uh, vectorized version, which is uh, blue. So you can see that uh, we maintain the, the, the scalability. Uh, of the two version, but we have uh, effectively one well, one point five uh, faster. So we have some results. Uh, the important thing is that we don't use any any tricks to be faster. Uh, we have uh, no 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 rattle, no shake, no. We have no no the the bands are not fixed. Uh, Thing is, uh, everything can be uh, can 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 move. So we don't want to use some tricks to be faster. Uh, as far as I remember, the time step is something like two femtosecond. Um, the neighbor list is calculated uh, every uh, twenty time steps uh, because we have to be accurate and uh, we don't want to lose any uh, atoms. So uh, calculating the neighbor list every 12, uh, every 20 time steps, sorry, uh, uh, is a guarantee that we don't have, a, that we can make some long, uh, uh, long uh, dynamics. Uh, because uh, if you if you take something like uh, hundred uh, to every hundred steps or more than that, then uh, you will have uh, very quickly uh, an explosion, and you cannot reach more than uh, 100,000 uh, time steps. But to have something very significant, physically significant, you have to, to take something like a million time steps or, or more than that. So to be able to do that, uh, you have to, to keep the neighborly uh, calculations. Uh, at a reasonable rate, so uh, every uh, 20 points is uh, every 20 time steps is uh, is something uh, correct for us. So um, we have also uh, combined uh, the all uh, all the all these acceleration. So. Um, Basically, uh, Tinker HP is developed by Louis and John Philippe, but we have many contributions from uh, from other uh, other uh, researchers, uh, and they write uh, their contributions in the normal way. I would say not very targeted way, because it's faster for her, and, and they are very uh, interested in science and not so in the computing. So uh, when we have a new uh, thing that we can uh, integrate in Tico HP, uh, my job uh, after would be to vectorize the thing that should be vectorized. So uh, for this uh, release uh, two, which is the version 1.2 that you have to of the or uh, the EHG uh, 20. Uh, these are the results for the release two, and uh, this the second column gives you the results with the multi time steps, and the third column gives you the results with the vectorized multi time steps. So uh, it's uh, for us uh, a very difficult thing to do because we have to integrate many uh, scientific things. After that, we have to. Um, um, use uh, to to vectorize uh, all these things. Anyway, it works. And uh, when when just just the scientific acceleration is uh, somewhat impressive for me. It's just uh, it's just uh, very impressive. My contribution is well, not so impressive. I mean, but uh, but uh, anyway, the best uh, thing that we we can make is to have the the fastest code. And the more accurate code, then uh, that uh, what we need. So um, speed ups are important because when you have a speed ups, then you can make calculations for a long time. 
and uh, access uh, access uh, very good sampling, and after that uh, access to all the the physical uh, things that you want to to calculate. So that's just uh, uh, results uh, from the HCV nuclear gas. Uh, but actually, you have two two forms of this uh, MCP7 uh, uh, protein, uh, the one which is folded and the other one which is unfolded. Um, the, pro the problem, yeah, not, it's not the problem, but um, some people in uh, using NMR see the first version, folded uh, version of the protein, and some other uh, view the unfolded one. And, uh, uh, it wasn't at uh, this time very clear why uh, someone can find one version and one someone can find the other one. So we make some calculations about that. Make sure that it works. So this is this animation because uh, I don't make any animation. Has to be, uh, it will be stupid. Uh, so uh, you can see that there is many. This one are just calculated. It's not animations. It's a result of calculation of the HP. So you can see that uh, there is a, a very sort of equilibrium between the two versions. Uh, so actually, you can see that um, the two versions are yes detected using a, a charm, uh, which is the uh, a classical force field uh, and uh, better, I mean, would be better detected with AMOEBA. So, uh, those kind of thing that you uh, can explain the, the the difference and why uh, you can find the two versions of the of the protein uh, even at the same time. Uh, let's make a conclusion on acceleration. Uh, so you have some some. Uh, uh, some results uh, of speed. Uh, so using uh, using Broadwell, for, of course, if you use Skylake, you have a boost from the hardware. But you have also a boost uh, with the methods. Uh, the Xavix 512 vectorized code is uh, is very very efficient for uh, for large systems also. Uh, we have some accelerated sampling using uh, uh, SMD or umbrella sampling. So uh, many of methods uh, should be available soon. Well, soon means uh, the version 1.3. And in fact, the version 1.3 is uh, well scheduled to, to be out uh, at the end of uh, this year. But uh, due to the COVID, uh, 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 situation, uh, then we decided to use it, make calculations now, so it's already running uh, on, the, on, the, on the big supercomputers that we have. Um, with, uh, yes, yes, with, with results that are far, far better than the, in terms of speed than that we have before. So uh, uh, we can do many things now with, uh, with this this code, which is accurate, which is uh, fast. Uh, in any case, it would be uh, not so not faster, not not so fast than the classical force field. So the number of calculations is far far more important. But anyway, it's very fast, and the important thing is that it's accurate. So this is the, particularly the new version. Uh, with new integrators, new quantum mechanics algorithm, new polarization solvers. Uh, we are running on v some cards, which are from NVIDIA. And we have no, uh, now better results uh, with uh, new cards, which is V100S, and uh, the new one would be A100. So, uh, so yes, uh, these ones are very, very, very interesting. So it's uh, in production since March, as I, as I tell you, uh, by fighting against COVID. Yes. So, 
just want to acknowledge uh, anyone. So uh, the man uh, on top is uh, Jean-Philippe Picmal, and Louis is on the left. I am on the middle, uh, and uh, Olivier Adjoie is on the right. Uh, so uh, as I don't have any camera, you cannot see me, but with me on the middle. Okay. So uh, Jean-Philippe Picmal is uh, our best leader. Uh, Louis Lagardère is, uh, is uh, 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 scientific, uh, well, uh, which like uh, computing. Uh, I am not. Uh, and Olivier Adjoie is uh, is, uh, is the man who is supporting uh, Tinker HP on GPU. So uh, and all these uh, other people are some uh, some contributors to the. the Tinker HP code, uh, bringing uh, maths like Yvon Madé uh, and bringing uh, scientific uh, tools for us. So uh, I would say that's all for me. Yes, that's all for me. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions? Um, Alfie, please only write because I cannot hear anyone. So. Do you have any questions? I cannot see them. Yes, uh, uh, we have this this plan. In fact, it has been already uh, ported. Uh... Okay, um, just for for the first question, uh, we have, uh, as as I have said, we have uh, begin to to port Tinker HP on GPU. Uh, it's Olivier that is doing that. Uh, it's 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 a completely different thing uh, from vectorization. The, the, the same way of thinking, but uh, it's been uh, already ported. It should be. Uh, it should have been uh, um, uh, validated. Sorry, uh, uh, by the end of the year, but uh, we already use it uh, for our research on COVID uh, uh, 19. So it has been ported, um, and as I maybe I can. Was the, the first results that we have on the STMV, so you can see that it's it's, uh, it's uh, faster than on uh, many CPUs. These results can be obtained with something like 10,000 GPUs. Uh, CPU, sorry, have been obtained with uh, yes uh, between 12 and uh, GPU cards. So uh, on DJX machines from Nvidia. So it already works well, uh, and Olivier is working hard uh, to, to support uh, all the parts of Tinker HP on GPU. Uh, for now, there is uh, some part of the code that uh, always uh, that still runs on the on CPU, but yes, it would be a matter of time to uh, everything on GPU. Uh, Ophir, I, I I see that you you asked something, but. Uh, You 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 ask uh, what is different from your HP or uh, NAMD or anything like that? Is that it? Uh, if it's really uh, your question, uh, in fact, it's the difference is uh, in is in the force fields that are used. 
as I said uh, at the beginning, uh, the classical force fields are far faster to, to compute. But they like some uh, accuracy, and uh, uh, if you want to make simulations on systems uh, which uh, which are uh, somewhat sensible to uh, energy difference, then uh, you you have to to be more accurate than uh, what can be done with the classical force field. It's the main difference. It's that you use a polarizable force field, uh, and that, uh, well, Louis can tell that uh, more than me, but uh, better than me, but uh, that's the main difference. Uh, so we are uh, slower than the force field codes, and by far so we're not slower. But we are more accurate, and in the long range, if you make very long dynamics, then you you have to keep the accuracy as best as possible, because uh, if you don't have that, then you will not have access to uh, meaningful uh, uh, physics uh, characteristics of the system that you want to simulate. So that's the, mo the main point. I think your HP is very very uh, very accurate. Uh, and uh, is grounded on solid uh, scientific background, on mathematical background. And uh, we can guarantee uh, that all the simulations uh, are, uh, are consistent, are solid, and, and well, if basically if something explodes with thinker HP during the simulation, it's uh, that you, can, you don't have the right parameters. Uh, so, uh, so that's, that's the main point of Tinker HP. It's accuracy and a, it's a solidity for a long uh, simulation. Any, any other question? More or uh, okay, so uh, I feel uh, okay, thank you. So, uh, I, I would say. Uh, So uh, I'm very, very, um, very. I was very happy to to make this talk to you. Uh, I'm sorry with for my accent, which is not uh, very good. But uh, the main thing is that uh, if you understood what I said, one thing. Uh, we just thank you for everything, and uh, just uh, for the precision. My uh, first name is Luc Henry, with the two um, uh, name Luc and Henry. So bye uh, to everyone and be safe. Okay. So bye.